Today we're covering the Content Aware Patch Tool. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNazer. Today we're doing an episode on the Content Aware Patch Tool. It's kind of a mouthful, it's a lot to say. But it's a really cool tool. Basically you can remove certain parts of your image or alter certain parts of your image and then it's gonna restructure things back together based on what you select. It's kind of a weird tool to get to know, but uh, we're gonna get to it and I'll show you guys some really good uses for the tool. So this is our image we're gonna be doing. Um, this is by Jesse, and Jesse, you want a Flurn Pro tutorial because we're editing your image here on Flurn.com and uh, we're using the Content Aware Patch. So the first thing that I really love about the Content Aware Patch tool, now let's go, let's go find it. It's over here. You might have like a Band-Aid here, defaults to spot healing brush. Let's go down to the Patch tool, which is right over here. Now, Patch, if it's a set to normal, you're gonna not be able to do this on a new layer. Now the Content Aware Patch Tool was added, I believe, in Photoshop CS6. So if you're using like CS4, you're not gonna have this, unfortunately, but there are other ways you could do it. You could use a traditional patch tool, it'll be very similar. Okay, so we've got our patch tool, and you can't do this on a blank normal, on a blank layer if it's set to normal. See, I'll, I'll try to patch it out, and it'll go, no, you can't do that, silly. But the Content Aware Patch Tool you can do this on a blank layer. So that alone, I love it because it means you don't have to alter an existing layer. You can turn these off and on, you can delete the layers and you won't delete the whole image, just that little effect. So here's what we're gonna try. And that's because you got the sample all layers set. So we're gonna go to our patch tool, go to content aware, and then the sample all layers, okay? And then your adaptation, this is just a uh, very, very funny language. I would use this to describe either um, you know, a, a teacher in high school, like how strict are they? They're very strict or they're very loose. Um, anyway, we'll stick to medium because I, I think that's like a pretty good range <laughs> in life in general. So right in, the, right in the middle. So we're gonna keep our adaptation to medium. Basically this is like how, how much is it gonna like try to um, restructure everything back together. Okay, so our Content Aware Patch Tool, basically here's how it work. You got a new layer, we're gonna remove some of these power lines and this is like the perfect tool to do it. Now, the reason this is great is because it's going to allow us to select out a certain area of the photo, but if you want something else to be maintained, and I don't even know how this works, there are some geniuses working at Adobe, but I'll just show you here. So let's say I wanna remove this power line, this one going horizontally, right? I'm gonna select it out, like we'll do, Generally, I find with these tools, don't try to do the whole power line at the same time. Do it up in sections, it's gonna work a little better. So we're gonna select that out, and I want the horizontal one gone. So I'm gonna click over here, like right in the selection, and just drag outside. And I'm gonna let go, and the horizontal uh, is gone from that area. But it rebuilds this vertical line, because this is the less selected part of the image, which is just like um, amazing, actually. Let's just select that out there, it's even gonna take care of our border. Like if we select around the border, there was a border included in this image already. There we go, and we bring it out. It's gonna restructure that border as well, which is um, just amazing. I'm, I'm totally amazed. Now it's not gonna do the most perfect job every single time. Um, like you can see here, it, it, you know, it gave a little bit of like a, a kink in that the first time it did it. So if that happens, just uh, hit Command Z or Control Z if you guys are on a PC and then I'll just undo that, okay? And then you can just do it again. There we go, so let's hit Command D to deselect if we wanna do this. Now another cool thing, a lot of people aren't aware, but when you use either the patch tool or the content aware patch tool, uh, you don't have to select it just, like you You get, by default, you just get this like, you know, oh, I, it's like the lasso tool, right? That type of selection. But you can actually do a couple of cool things. If you hold down the Alt or the Option key, your tool now becomes a um, like a polygonal lasso tool almost, right? So you don't have to just like draw around there. So you could do that and then select out just like that. Um, the other thing you can do, which is really cool, is you can use any selection. Like if I want to just use a, you know, a round selection that I got from a marquee tool and then patch, I can just grab that selection and then patch that one. So you don't have to use the selection tools that are available within the patch tool. Any selection will do. Um, the day I found that out, I was really happy, but I like Photoshop a lot more than most people, so <laughs> it's understandable. <laughs> You're like, that's not that cool. And I'm like, oh, the coolest thing in my life. Anyway, so we're gonna continue to do this. Uh, you know, click and drag to areas that are relatively similar to what you want, um, to what you want your end 
end area to look like. Uh, you know, and the patch tool is great because it gives you a little preview here. And this content aware patch really is really is nice. It's giving us a great result, and this is not something that's you know, in my opinion, uh, really that easy to do. You know, getting rid of power lines can be can be more tricky than you would think, especially if you have a complex sky or something like that in the background. Or here where we're getting into it, where we're seeing some of these like light streaks and whatnot. We're going to just do that. I'm going to patch that right down there. Now, it's not going to do a perfect job every time. But I think asking perfection from a, a tool like this is, is a bit much, to be honest. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the tool, and I'm happy with the job that it does. If you do need to fix things, like I can bring that back there, and it's going to rebuild my tower. It's just like it's, drawing, it's grabbing a different part of the tower every time. It's insane. Um, so you can see there, it's not, not exactly perfect. So if you did need to clean that up a little bit, what you could use is you could use the clone stamp tool. And we'll just clone stamp from this area on up there. There we go. And let's just kind of like build these out a little bit more. OK. So a lot of these tools in Photoshop, you know, they're not going to be 100% perfect. And they're not going to do the entire job in just one pass. They're getting better. But um, you can always go in there and kind of like tweak it and things like that afterwards. So we, we were able to get rid of, you know, some of these horizontal uh, cables just using this contour patch. So I'll just do it again here. We can see, boom, it's going to rebuild my cable. Again, if it didn't do it that great, just uh, hit undo and try it again. And it's going to just like probably get it the next time. There we go. And uh, we'll pull this as well. So this is, you know, just a really great example of using a good use of the content to wear patch tool. We're going to zoom out. And if you want to take out, you know, other areas, of, like if you wanted to take out these power lines, you could totally do that as well. Um, this is, uh, you know, the regular patch tool would do, do this as well. The difference between the regular patch tool and the content to wear patch tool is this, this one will rebuild what's going on behind there. The regular patch tool doesn't like guess at what should have been there, which honestly, I have no idea how the, the how do you design software to guess what should have been there? Like a, <laughs> it's ridiculous to me, but anyway, it works. So I guess that's all that I have to worry about. And then I can show you how it works, and then you can use it to make your images better. So Adobe does jo their job, and then I do my job, and then you do your job, and so on and so forth. Pretty cool. There we go. Let's just select that out, and we're almost done here. You could just continue going on this, but to be honest, I wouldn't be teaching you anything more. I would just continue to be doing the same thing. But just a really great use for the content to wear patch tool. I realize we've got a couple of these power lines left over. I I didn't, um, you know, you don't need to watch me remove power lines for another 20 minutes, but a really cool use of the content to wear patch tool. So there's our before and our after. A really quick, easy way to do some nice removals. If you guys use this for anything other than like removing power lines, let me know in an image down below. And I would love to see a before and after. If you can do like, you know, on the left side of before and on the right side of the after, those are really cool. So you can see like what's really going on with these um, images that you make. Sometimes I don't think very well. That's it for the episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching, Floor, and I can't wait to see your images. Leave them in a comment down below. I know you have a lot of choices when you're at work and you don't feel like doing your job and you want to watch something fun on the internet, and I thank you for choosing Flurn as being a part of your lineup. <laughs> I'll flirt you guys later. Bye, everyone. My job is basically giving something for you to do while you're at your job <laughs> that is not related to your job. That's really funny. For more information on this episode, go to flurn.com. While you're there, be sure to check out our pro tutorials. These are the most in-depth Photoshop tutorials available on the internet. If you want one for free, just sign up for our newsletter following the link right down below and it'll be delivered to you instantly. We also feature exclusive interviews, written contents, inspiration from people like you as well as professional photographers. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.